Hey, what's up, everybody? Man, get in here real quick. Oh, my God. Okay, get in here. Are you seeing this, man? Okay, so as y'all probably know, I am a noob to the gaming space. Uh, but mobile gaming, I am a huge fan of. And uh, now that Xbox has this X Cloud, <laughs> I'm having a hard time focusing, man. I'm sitting here riding on a lawnmower, doing some real redneck stuff right now. This is like a redneck lawnmower uh, crash derby. And I'm get somebody let me get somebody man oh okay let me get it let me get it boom <laughs> this game is just too much this is live man oh okay oh he got me he got me okay so i'm playing this game right now this is on xbox i think it's called wreck it or something like that this is like one of the first stages of the game where you just kind of crashing at each other on these riding lawnmowers man it's some real redneck stuff right here this they only do this kind of stuff in kentucky in real deep parts of tennessee i'm guessing hey guys guess what this video was edited by this guy right here i'm schooling him right now and this is his first editing experience ever right yeah yeah pretty much anyways anyway say what's up to the what's people. up we now return to your regular programming let's do it this is my experience on xCloud. Needless to say, I've been having a great time. I realized that outside of playing on my mobile phone, it's been over two decades since I played like video games on a console or anything of the sort. Damn! So when Stadia dropped, I was super excited. I went ahead and got the Stadia set up and uh, then I heard about xCloud and xCloud took me right back to mobile, which is really cool because Xbox games are definitely better than traditional mobile games on the phones and stuff. But it started making me think, what is going to happen to the mobile gaming industry? Now that people can literally stream Xbox games to their mobile phones while they're in a house, I guess, then on mobile networks, you can actually play xCloud games and coming soon, I'm pretty sure Stadia is gonna uh, launch into the mobile space too as far as being able to play on 4 and 5g what is going to happen to the mobile gaming industry i tell you what's going to happen they're going to have to step it up man because the only real gripe i have about mobile games right now such as like asphalt and stuff like that is the ads the ads just drive me nuts they're always asking you to watch an ad or buy a bag of gold or some coins or something it drives me up the wall i would rather pay up to about 60 bucks for some of these games you got games like asphalt Obviously, that's one of my favorites, uh, the Asphalt series. And then you got the Modern Warfare series, which is another one of my top faves. And I would gladly pay up to 60 bucks for those games just to be able to play all the way through. But now because of xCloud, we got games like Wreckfest, Just Cause 4, this uh, F1 2019, World War Z, Borderlands. Like we got all kinds of like tier one games. Look at that, Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, all this is on xCloud right now and you can get it for free. So it really does beg the question, what is the point of buying little bags of gold and you know watching ads and stuff when you don't have to when you just turn on your x cloud and start gaming and like i said coming soon you can probably do that with stadia too so it really makes me wonder are the mobile game developers gonna start stepping up their game because if i were them i would feel like this is definitely a threat i think anyone in their right mind would take a, an x cloud type of game coming from xbox uh over a traditional mobile game developed on a mobile game platform i don't know maybe it's just me how do you feel about it that's the real premise of this video where is mobile game going because of this new threat we have which is google stadia and microsoft x cloud where is it going where do you think it's going put it in the comments but since we're here and i got some toys here for you let's talk about these uh mobile game controllers so when i got this right here this uh g lap controller i chose this one over the bib and cool sataki or something like that because of the form factor yes some people say it's bulky but um, I'm not traveling a whole lot with a controller and I think it fits in my bag pockets really easily. And I like the form and it just really feels solid and has, you know, everything's real nice and tactile and just feels like quality. Yes, it is very expensive. I think at the time of price when I purchased it, it was like 89 bucks. So yeah, you got to spend that money for this type of quality, but it is what you get 
quality. I've really enjoyed it while I was playing like Asphalt and Modern Combat and stuff like that. And it does work with a slew of other games. I have a, a video where I've shown some games that you can play with this that it just connects to immediately. But you can also download this Panda app. And when it is working, like I said, when it is working, because sometimes it ain't working, when it's working, you can pretty much map out to play any game with this. So I really, really do like it. As far as fitting phones in here, I use a Galaxy Note 10 Plus without a case. It doesn't fit with the case or it probably won't fit with the phone case. But uh, that brings me to another point with this mobile gaming thing. These clips right here, I've managed to buy two of them because I broke my first rule, which was if you buy cheap, you buy it twice. Let me show you this one first. This one, I don't even know what it's called. It's just a no-name brand. It was like $8.99 or $9.99 on Amazon. And it's cool, man. It does the job. You just put it around that Xbox logo and then push up and it clips in, but it, it might catch a little bit. So now it's clipped on, right? And it serves its purpose. It puts your phone right where it needs to be. And you see how easy that is to handle, right? So it puts your phone right in it where it needs to be. However, let me back out a little bit. However, now you have this, this phone hanging out at a 45 degree angle and it makes your phone kind of top heavy or front heavy. So it does put pressure on your fingers and your wrist that way. For some people that might not bother you, but for me, I can feel that weight, especially coming from something like this where my phone was in there and it was all one unit and everything was very well balanced. So you gotta use this phone clip with the xCloud or the Xbox controller. This one also has a little stand built into it. That way, when you put your phone down, it just doesn't collapse collapse you just kick that stand out like that and it kind of sets your phone up just like that that way you're not going to damage your phone if you set it down and it flips by accident or something like that which is a nice little feature to have on this uh, clip right here but i want to show you some other things that made me go for the more expensive one which we'll talk about next so on the back side here your pairing button can you see that your pairing button is actually covered up uh, you do have access to your micro usb port right there but your pairing button is covered up and sometimes when i want to use this with my tablet i'll forget to pair it up first and then i'll put this on and then i have to take it off because the pairing button is covered up so those are two major things that i really don't like about this one like i said this was about eight or nine bucks on amazon which is a great price i guess but like i said if you buy cheap you buy it twice and the reason why i said this one was cheap is not because it's a cheaply made product it's because it's just about five dollars cheaper than this one i think this one may be about 14 or 15 bucks this is the official x cloud uh, gaming clip right here that's sold by microsoft they're actually selling this on amazon too it is called the moga a gaming clip or something like that uh, link is in the description if you want to see it the reason why i like this one is because it has the same type of form factor where it just clips on the bottom let me clear this out so you can see it has the same form factor where it just clips on the bottom of your controller but it has the added feature of the opening for your um your pairing button right there and the biggest thing of them all it has these tension knobs right here and you can loosen them up and then you can articulate this thing to kind of sit your phone wherever you want it to be so you're not stuck and fixed in one position so let me just put this on so you can see you bring this out of there now you can see it forms right around that xbox logo right there you push that clip up bam it's locked in place and then look at that now you got your your pairing button open as well as access to your uh, usb your micro usb port right there but my favorite thing about this is the fact that you can manipulate this to kind of just bring the center of gravity of your phone let me just lock this in real quick you bring the center of gravity of your phone over the controller which puts it kind of over your hands as well now watch this now i can bring the center of gravity of the phone over my controller and still have space to reach that xbox button now check this out typically your phone with a clip like this is going to be sitting out at about 45 degrees and and putting that extra weight on your hands and wrist but now you can kind of just articulate this to kind of bring the center of gravity over the controller and then you just kind of twist lock everything in place to get it where you want to just get it where you want to first and twist and lock it in because it is a tension knob and i still have access to my xbox button you can see where i can slide my thumb in there but the center of gravity is right in front of me and this is much more ergonomically friendly uh, to my grip so now i can actually play this game and it feels good i'm not worried about the weight or anything like that it's just more comfortable it's a personal gripe that i had with a less expensive uh, gaming clip so you can opt for that or you can have the official one made by xbox themselves or not made by xbox it's actually made by moga but xbox is claiming this to be the official one and i really like it 
But I'm telling you, man, if they're gonna go into the mobile gaming space, both Stadia and xCloud, please, 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 I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please let us play with just other controllers, man. Like the, the ones that were made for mobile gaming such as this. This would, if I could play Stadia and xCloud games using this controlling pad right here, that would be amazing. I mean, really for portability's sake, it's just easier to have one thing versus two. And this thing does not collapse. You know, it, it just really doesn't collapse small enough to where it, yeah, it's just, no, it, it just doesn't collapse small enough. This is what you're walking around with, or even this, it doesn't collapse well enough versus just a simple device like this. Even though it is on the bigger side, it's just easier to, you know, just transport than these two items right here. From what I understand, there are some people out there that have gotten their uh, their xCloud to work with other gaming pads that are made for mobile devices, but I have not found anything that works with this one, the G-Lap. This is the best one in my opinion. No, it's not super portable because it doesn't collapse up and it's not super thin, but man, when you want to get a good quality feel from a mobile gaming bad this is it so i really do hope they open up the platforms to other controllers such as this one and then we are talking business anyways that's kind of my rant about where i think mobile game might be headed and the threat to the existing mobile gaming platform man they are in so much trouble right now and I hope they open things up to be able to be used with other gaming pads, such as uh, the G-Lab controller. But look, man, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just having a good time messing around with these new gaming platforms. If you had a good time hanging out just now, make sure you follow me on social media. Oh yeah, I got two other channels as well. Go check those out. Now I gotta get back to my backwoods uh, riding lawnmower crash derby. <laughs> Start tearing up some stuff, man. I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where are you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?